praise the lord good morning and welcome to the sunrise with jesus say it like you mean it say it until you mean it and that means don't stop saying it because you are struggling to mean it psalm 61 hear my cry o god listen to my prayer from the end of the earth i call to you when my heart is faint lead me to the rock that is higher than i for you are my refuge a strong tower against the enemy let me abide in your tent forever find refuge under the shelter of your wings for you o god have heard my vows you have given me the heritage of those who fear your name so i will always sing the praises to your name as i pray my vows day after day we give you praise and we give you thanks we give you praise and we give you thanks we give you praise and we give you thanks for your love lord for your love lord for your love for your love for your love sun and moon bless the lord stars of heaven bless the lord all you winds bless the lord fire and heat bless the lord cold and chill bless the lord dew and rain bless the lord ice and snow bless the lord nights and days bless the lord we give you praise and we give you thanks we give you praise and we give you thanks we give you praise and we give you thanks for your love lord for your love lord for your love for your love there are two ways in which we can open a door when we stand before a door that is shut firm and tight before us there is one option where i bang the door and i employ all my energy all my technology to break open the door literally and then there is a second option a second way of opening the door and that is to knock at the door so when do we knock at the door when there is someone on the other side and jesus recommends that we knock that we knock at the door when it comes to prayer very often we could employ ourselves in prayer expending all our energy imagining that the effectivity of the prayer depends on me and how much i have sacrificed and what i have put into the prayer sometimes we could imagine that our prayers are good only when we've spoken enough words and beautiful words remember jesus says do not babble like the pagans but say it like you mean it there is something about the culture of our prayer that often the most beautiful prayers are prayers that are condensed in a few words and we are taught to repeat the prayers you know the great jesus prayer that for centuries has been the heartbeat of the prayer life of the greatest saints and mystics and it is just one line where i say jesus son of god have mercy on me and then we see with a divine mercy devotion a great emphasis on saying jesus i trust in you just four words but four words that touch the heart of god because the one thing god wants you and me to know is that we can trust him the one thing god desires from us is our trust and here in our type of retreats we often say praise the lord i love you jesus thank you jesus it may sound silly but in fact these simple silly words as intellectuals may find it these simple silly words show forth to god perfect praise we remember how jesus said to his father oh god you have fashioned perfect praise 
from the mouths of infants and sucklings. The prayer that God desires from us is a prayer of simplicity, a prayer that comes from our heart, not a prayer to impress humans, not even a prayer that is impressive by human understanding, but a prayer that is rooted in the faith that we have a God who is on the other side, a God who hears our prayer, a God who is not arrogant that he would dismiss our prayers. And we see the other aspect about trust is to be able to persevere. I wait in prayer and that is the proof of my faith. Not how loud my prayer is, not how demanding my prayer is, but if I am able to wait in faith, knowing that my God will open the door exactly at the right time. And this is the most beautiful aspect of prayer. When we wait in docility, when we wait in humility, waiting for God, constantly conscious, more than the door before us, of the God who is on the other side, we begin to tune our ears to hear His voice. This is a heart of prayer where there is trust and that trust that leads us to simplicity and surrender. And such prayer in fact makes for love because where there is love, the basic principle of love is to trust. And such prayer you and I must know will never leave us empty handed because we have a God who assures us that those who trust in the Lord will never be disappointed. Dear friends, as we listen to this message, may we place ourselves in such prayer of trust. A visitor was walking along the shore of the Dead Sea. As he was strolling along casually, suddenly he lost his balance and he fell into the waters of the Dead Sea. Swimming was an activity he had never learned and so in desperation he began to move his hands and feet. He thought he was going to drown. He thought that would be the end of his life and so frantically he kept on moving his hands and his feet. Finally tired of moving his hands so strongly he helped himself to be still. But when he became still, suddenly he found something strange that happened. The waters of the Dead Sea held him up high and he was no longer drowning. He became still in those waters. What happened was the Dead Sea has such a high quantity of salt that when somebody tried to move their hands and feet in desperation, they would go down. But if somebody becomes still, they would remain at the surface of those waters. When one consigns oneself to the power of the deep, drowning is impossible. When one surrenders oneself to the powers of the deep, it is impossible to be drowned. This is exactly what Christian life also teaches and this was also the experience of the disciples. We see in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 8 verses 23 onwards, the disciples were traveling with Jesus in the boat. And as the boat entered the rough waters, they encountered the storms. They began to feel that they were going to drown. They began to feel that their life was going to be ended. But that is when the power of the deep, Jesus rose up and said, Be calm and still and the storms was calmed. When the disciples put their faith in the power of the deep, they realized it was impossible to drown. My dear brothers and sisters, so many times in our life, we go through these rough waters of life. So many times we experience storms in life. The boats of our life begin to capsize and we feel Oh Lord, is this going to be the end? We begin to feel, is everything going to end now? But that's when the Lord reminds us, put your trust in me. Resign yourself to the power of the deep and you will realize that we hold you up high. 
when we offer ourselves to the divine power, my brothers and sisters, we realize and we experience that God will not abandon us. Like a father who holds the hands of the child, we are held by our Heavenly Father and nobody on earth can drown us. What is needed therefore is a trust in Him. What is needed therefore is that deep faith in Him. The disciples, when they underwent that experience of being saved from the storms, they cried out and said, What sort of man is this that even the winds and the sea obey him? When we put our trust in God, we also will begin to marvel in the power of God. And thus, we will be able to praise him, to thank him and to realize and say, Oh yes, Lord, even though I go, through the stormy waters of life, I know you are with me. Let us, as we go through the course of this day, in all the activities, let us begin to put our trust in God, know and realize that He is the captain of my ship and He is able to take me through any storms of life. May our blessed Lord bless all of us with this gift of immense faith and trust in Him. Adore him, let's all stand up and sing. Brothers and sisters, we are in the presence of Jesus now. As I told you, directly or indirectly, every one of us are searching for Jesus. Some of us knowingly search for Him, 
yes i want jesus in my life some of us not knowing that we are truly in search of him we are going on searching in the midst of relatives friends and here is the one who told you i am the love which you are searching i am the truth which you are searching when you don't find a way here is the one who is telling you i i am the way holy thing surrender yourself to me open my eyes i want to see jesus open my ears i want to hear him lord i need to experience my jesus is attracted by the father unless he's called by the father speak to the lord that i need to experience him because i don't find a way in my life god i've been searching for love in the midst of my friends one after the other i'm getting cheated i don't find truth in everyone lord i don't find any consolation searching for that i've got ended up in alcohol drugs and all those things right now i understand the love that i was searching is here in my friend Everybody pray the prayer of angels Close your eyes and sing together Let's keep our both hands on our chest. Close your eyes. Get melted in singing, closing your eyes. See with your internal eye that God is looking at you. Imagine the beautiful picture of Jesus. Everyone experience the touch of God. Hallelujah. Oh my Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone. with the angels everyone pray together one of you Hallelujah. 
open up your mouth and sing together the beautiful prayer of the angels the whole heaven is open for you now let the tears come out of your eyes you're worshiping your God burden unto him and say let there be deliverance in the name of Jesus I love you to him that Lord I will put my complete self into the loose of the spiritual center that I will be obedient obedience because Holy Spirit is the spirit of obedience second surrender your family your places your children which you have left and come maybe your job my God, I don't know what will happen for these five days. Some people are in tension and always in fun during the interval. What's happening there? What's out there? Many brothers and sisters, if you offer me a pen, every day if you call me and ask me, Father, how is the pen? How is it working? Is it working well? Have you offered it to me then? Hmm? If you give me a pen, imagine they've given me a pen, and at least once in a week he will call and ask me Father the pen is working well or not? How is the pen? Have you really offered that pen to me? Not at all Still you have got that in your brain That's not the offering that is required from us Offer all those places and persons Your job and everything Offer What I have understood from my priestly life is this I am not an inevitable person in this universe even if I am not there the things will be done God will arrange never think that I have to be there when you think and make a phone call just one branch falls on your head enough only few percentage of our future are in our hands that to be imagined and keep but the reality is in his hands give it offer it always remember he is inevitable in our lives but we are not inevitable in this world even if we are not there others, someone else God will appoint somebody else hallelujah think about it offer up offer up those wrong relationships just offer you may tell me father I can't leave it okay just offer it he will help you he will send his spirit to just strengthen you, to empower you. Just do that. Just offer it. Offer up your active lives and activities, your talents, especially those areas in which we are famous and well known. Maybe I, for example, I'm a preacher, there are singers. What if one day if the talents are taken away from us? Offer those areas into the hands of Jesus. 
offer your privacies who are you originally when no one is there to watch over you that is your original self or for your original self because he knows you the first offering of the couple in the bible they offered jesus who is god to god knowing that this is the son of god they offered him to god keeping up the laws knowing that these are god given talents offered up to god himself offer it right now with the tears to sing my dear brothers and sisters Blessing surrendering ourselves. of the divine retreat center needs your support as they continue 
in their commitment to preach the good news of Jesus through the weekly retreats, the daily online and television ministry, through the service of 3,000 disadvantaged persons, the mentally challenged, the aged, the destitute women, the sick and abandoned and economically disadvantaged families. If you are inspired to share in this ministry through the sacred service of almsgiving, we invite you to send your love offering to Divine Charitable Trust, CD account number 04022310. One four, HDFC Bank, Chalakudi Branch, IFSC Code, HDFC 0000402 and email the details to divineretreatcenter at gmail.com.